What's going on guys, Sledgehammer70 back, and today I want to do a quick video on all the different types of jacks and jack stands and ramps that I use while working on my car. Now there's lots of different uses that you'll want to apply these for across the board, and I just want to go through one by one what I actually use these for. So, without further ado, I have my large three-ton floor jack, rapid pump. I got it at Harbor Freights by Pittsburgh um, Automotive. It's not a super expensive jack, but it gets the job done. It, it has two parts for the handle. You know, you twist to lock it in place and then jack it up. The one thing I've also found useful is that this bolt comes out pretty easily, and this makes a great breaker bar for those tough bolts um, to get to. Now, you may have heard me mention on my ZL1 add-on, um, crimp point video that I use a hockey puck. So as I mentioned, this device can sit within here pretty nicely if I wanted it to and give me a nice flat area. But this hockey puck actually allows me to lift it up a little bit so I can see where it's at and I can jack it up that way. It's pretty useful, hockey puck's like three bucks, whatever, that's just what I'd use. Now this jack over here is a small, it's an Evercraft, it's a two ton jack. But you can see the, the points here are a lot smaller. Um, I've used this jack many times on my 2016 Camaro uh, 2SS, but I just felt that it was very cheap. It was like a $69 special, not the best jack out there. Now for ramps. Ramps, on the other hand, I use when I change my oil or any fluid on the car. And basically it's just to get the car off the ground so I can get up underneath and change oil, flush whatever miscellaneous stuff. Currently, I've only used them on my car to change the oil, but uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Drive your car up on the ramp, good to go. One thing I will say with these ramps, and these are the highest ramps I've been able to find out there, um, your air dams in front of your tires on the sixth gen in the front, you'll notice that, and actually, I'll show you. It's dark, I know but these bad boys right here, they will rub on your ramps. And you can actually see, there's actually some rubbing there and that's not from ramps themselves. But those air dams will rub when you go up the, the ramp. One thing I've done is I'll just put a two by four leading up to the ramp so that way I avoid that. Um, the other side is jack stands. So anytime I jack my car up with my floor jack, I always put jack stands underneath the car. Um, I think it's imperative that everyone does this. If you don't do it, you're asking to hurt yourself or potentially even kill yourself with how low these cars sit on the ground. It's always important to exercise safety when you're lifting a vehicle off the ground, whether it's on a lift, whether it's a jack, a floor jack, etc. cetera. Um, always use wheel stops, always slide these, these jack stands. They're not very expensive and you never know. It could save your life, so. Be smart, lift your car up properly. Overall, those are all the different devices I use to work on my vehicle across the board. And stay tuned for my next video where I actually highlight and show you where I jack my car up from and how easy it is. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Let me know in the comments below what different types of jacks you use. Feel free to link out to them how you jack up your car or what you use the different items for. But as always, you know, even if you guys have uh, safety recommendations or stuff like that, post below. I'm sure lots of people would appreciate your feedback and information. And as always, I love it when you guys leave the comments and check out the channel. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on the road.